front way, back way. You know that I don't play. There's another Ed Sheeran song. Shit. <sighs> Which one is more? So today we're going to be showing you clips from 10 songs. 10 songs. And these are the 10 most streamed songs in the history of Spotify oh. at the time of recording this. Uh -huh. And we're going to see if you can guess where each song fits in the top 10. Oh shit. Okay, I've seen the YouTubers play this game. That looks so fun. I f with Spotify heavy. So I'm excited to see how my knowledge of uh, the music that trends on there. Oh my God, I love these videos. I'm so excited. I'm going to do horrible at this, but I'm excited. So we're going to give you this. Uh... <laughs> Thank you. So while you're watching, you can start placing the songs where you think they are in the top 10. Okay, should I make like numbers? I'm pretty good with like popularity stuff and trying to figure out like what does well and what doesn't. So maybe that'll help me out. I'm gonna fake some confidence and pretend that I'm gonna get 100%. Let's do it. Sad song. What is the song called again? Oh, it's like Pillin' Ibiza. I don't know the title. Isn't it like a Mike Posner song or something? I know. Okay, this is for sure fairly recent. I feel like this is lower on the list. It's a popular song, but not like, I feel like uber popular. That's, that's pretty popular. I hear that on the radio a lot. Do people still listen to Mike Posner? I'm putting it at magical number seven. Number five, it's a good even. Number five. This was on the radio all the time, but that could differ from Spotify streaming. So I'm gonna drop it at six for right now. It's still kind of young. There are other songs that could get a lot more play. So I'm gonna set it on the lower tier. I'm gonna say eight. I'm in love with the shape of you. Okay, this is Ed Sheeran, Shape of You. This has to be pretty high up. I love this song, so I just wanna put it out of one, even though I know it's not the number one. It is a good song. I get it. I'm gonna set it at a safe six. That's definitely higher. Uh, I'm gonna put that at number four. Number five. Number eight. I think it's a little more hype than we think it is. Baby now. Oh my god, it's a shearing again. I love this video. There's another Ed Sheeran song. Shit. <sighs> Which one is more? Kiss me, never love a stars. I love this song. Place your head on my beating heart. Thinking out loud. Uh, this is fucking cute, dude. Oh, this is so hard. I love it, but I'm gonna have to place them at number number nine. I put it as number two. Thinking out loud is number three. Seven, right above Shape of You. I'm actually gonna set it as a five. It's an older song than Shape of You, I believe. So I think it's it it's had more time to to cook. This is Lean On. Okay, I wasn't very active in this video. <laughs> okay, I'm assuming this is a ma actually major laser. <laughs> That's all I know from the song. This song was fairly popular here, but I feel like this was huge international. Damn. I'm gonna put that one on number eight. It's a pretty good song. I'm putting it on number five. Is that above Mike Posner? Yeah, I'm putting that with a six. That's getting hard. Every song just feels like they have more plays than the last one. And I know this song is played. A three. Five. I've heard it so many times on the radio, but I don't want to like shift anything yet. Grips on your ways. Front way, back way. You know that I don't play. Streets not out. Drake. I feel like I'm going to see Drake more than once on this list. That's why I need a one dance. At one point, this is the only song they played on radio, guys. Like, literally. One, no, one dance, number one. Number six. Four, because that song is a jam. Let's put him number three. I'm putting this at number six. I got really tired of the song really quickly because I feel like it was overplayed. Number three. Drake is one of the biggest artists in the world. Duh. Chain Smokers. Halsey? Oh, I love this song. This is definitely on my Spotify playlist. I really would like to know how many times I personally have heard this song since it's come out. <laughs> So catchy, I love it. Oh God, where would that one be? I'm gonna put it five. Just because it's an open spot for now, I'm putting it at four. This is way hotter than I thought it was gonna be. I'm gonna put it at number five. I hate this song. Oh God, I know that's number one. Anything with the 
chain smokers in it is an immediate hit. Don't let me, don't let me, don't let me. Ooh, that car bounced. Sorry, not the point of this video, but damn. Yes, uh, the hip hop in the back. Definitely newer than a lot of things on here. Um, is that Don't Let Me Down? I'm gonna do 10 right now, Don't Let Me Down. This is also like a very like played song, but I'm running out of spots, so I'm gonna do number nine for that. It's a good song, and I feel like a lot of people like it because it appeals to more audiences. I'm gonna go three. Just because she said don't let her down, I don't want to put her at the bottom of the list, but I think that's a 10. If you like the way Justin Bieber, of course. Oh, baby, you should go Bieber, Bieber's a big name. And if you think that I'm still holding on to something you should go and love yourself. Where did you see the music video? That's cool. Ah, I actually really love that song. Like, JB, you got me there. Justin's taking the crown right now. That's number nine because definitely not ten and it's definitely not one. I'm gonna go with two. That was a very popular song for a very long time. Number two is Justin internationally loved, and also hated. I have a feeling I know what number one might be. I think it might be Despacito. Yeah, I love this song too. Is it too late to say I'm sorry now? Okay, yeah, this one I can see being way higher than Love Yourself. I would be floored if this isn't number one. I'm putting it at four for now. I'm just gonna put sorry for number nine. It was cool, but then it was not like five seconds later, so I'm gonna put sorry number eight. Now number one, I'll put sorry. But if you guys drop Despacito on me, it's gonna really f up everything. Ten for now, because I'm still I'm still rooting for Despacito. My sunrise on the darkest day. Oh Got god damn it, Despacito! I should have known that. Despacito's for sure up there. Okay, Despacito's the number one song right now on YouTube. I mean, good job, Justin Bieber. You're on this list three times. God damn it. This is number one. Yeah, I f***ed up. I f***ed up. Despacito is definitely not number 10. That's a number 10, but it's obviously not. Okay, I need to like really look at this list. So now that you've watched through these, we're going to give you a chance uh, to make changes. Okay, I'm going to do... Despacito as number one. Despacito. I'm gonna move to number one. Six, seven, eight. Oh shit, no. No, no, no. I'm like really stressed out. I don't know. I think I got a few, like at least one. Like if I get one, I'm gonna be happy. Okay, so now that you're done, uh, we're going to number 10 to number one and we'll see how many you got right. Probably zero. <laughs> Coming in at number 10 is Despacito. What? By Luis Fonsi and Daddy Yankee, specifically the remix featuring Justin Bieber. No, really? I was way off. I am so disappointed in myself. I was so confident that that would be number one. The radio has me so confused. They play every other song. Literally, my whole list is going to be off now because Despacito is not number one. Oh, shit! I was right the first time! Number nine, I took a pill in Ibiza by Mike Posner. Wow, L's every day. I put it as seven. I was wrong. Wow. I got that right. I did something right in my life. Number eight, Don't Let Me Down by The Chainsmokers featuring Daya. Yeah, I put sorry. <laughs> yep, it's f***ing one off. <laughs> no, that's number six. No! Why would you give me time to change things? This is every test ever. Number seven, Love Yourself by Justin Bieber. <laughs> oh, JB, come on, man! I can't believe one dance beat that. Oh, I got that right. I have two so far. I got one right! One right! Yes! Number six, Thinking Out Loud by Ed Sheeran. Oh, I was off by one. I had it right at the beginning. Two in a row, right! Yes! Yes! Number five is Sorry by Justin Bieber. <laughs> I put it on two. Oh my god. Yeah, I had him at three. Bieber. But that is number eight. I'm a goner. Number four, Lean On by Major Lazer. Nope, not gonna get any of them. Ugh. I put number four down as Thinking Out Loud. I put for number four, Sorry. I'm sorry. Number three, Closer by the Chainsmokers featuring Halsey. Really? Off by one again! I got that one right too! Hey, I'm at my three! I got my three! I got one right! Yes! Number two, One Dance by Drake. Oh wow, I really underestimated him. I put that down as 10. Wow, I'm literally off by one on the whole thing. Got one right! <laughs> yeah! Yes! 
Four out of ten, that's not bad. Number one is Shape of You by Ed Sheeran with over 1.3 billion streams at the time of shooting. I almost did that, I almost put it as number one. I think the important part is that we all had fun playing the game um, and we really came together as a team and I don't want to talk about it anymore. All of these songs are so equally popular, you know what I mean? They're all the most overplayed songs I've ever heard in my entire life and therefore they are going to all be in the top ten. I f***ing suck. The world has an odd taste in music. That's all I've learned today. Thanks for watching this episode of College Kids React. Shout out to Gabby Mondragon for watching last week. Subscribe if you want a shout out like Chris Shallow. Come say hi in the comments if you'd like a shout out like Justin Ayala. Thanks for watching this episode of College Kids React. We had the reactors make a playlist of all their favorite songs. The link to that is in the description below. Make sure to follow FB on Spotify. Bye guys.